Uh, I've decided to make a video about my FPL dashboard uh, just because I wanted to help you get as much information out of it as possible and make it, a, it as easy to use as possible. So basically, um, first and foremost, all the data is taken directly from the FPL website. Yeah. Um, across the top, you can see a bunch of slices. What they do is help you limit the data that you see based on whatever criteria you want. So the fitness levels, whatever round you want. So rounds five until 10. We only have one round now, of course. Price ranges, player positions. Here you can decide to show only the players that have played every minute of the season so far. And of course, as the season progresses, that's few, fewer and fewer players. You can say, okay, show me only the first penalty taker on every team. Um, and the same for free kick and corner taker. By which we can say, okay, I want to see the penalty taker and the free kick taker and the corner taker. And we do therefore see that it's these players who are responsible apparently on their teams for the penalties, the free kicks and the corners. If you want to remove any filters that you've applied, you can just click on this remove filters button and it'll take you back to its natural state. So what you can also do is using these buttons here is decide how many players you want to show on these visualizations. So if I click on five, I want to get the top five instead of the top 10. Obviously it'll show you more than five sometimes if these number, if these share the values. As you can see here, when I put my mouse over one of the players, I get a bit of information about that player, the next fixtures and the previous 10 fixtures and how they've performed and um, with points and minutes played. You can get more information um, about each player and I'll show you how to do that in just one minute. So you can see across the top price per point form transfers in and transfers out. Uh, by clicking this button you can toggle on here form and form value. This here is pretty self-explanatory. The heat map of the fixtures for each team if you hover over it'll tell you what that fixture is. Here you've got price per points by team and here total points and selected by percent. So you can see Axan Arnold is close to 50% selected and he has scored this season only two points. Yeah, and uh, one point apparently. What are you gonna do? Uh, and Salah up here, he's got 20 points and his selection is somewhere between 35, so 36-ish percent. Uh, if you want to see more percentages, um, percentages, you can click on this button here and it takes you through to a completely different page. Um, here you can choose to select a percentage a lot easier with this little slider thing here. And this filters all the, um, all the players on the page, including this transfers in and out section. So you can see who's been transferred in, percentage selection, and again, filter by position, fitness levels, top whatever. So again, you can see here, only show me the top five players or the top 40. Or you can actually just remove that completely and it shows you all the players. And if you want to go back to our previous page, you click on this back button and it takes you back. So what you can also do, um, you can filter in this page by team if you want. So show me only players from, probably not Spurs, huh? Liverpool. And if I do that, I'm looking at just at Liverpool. What you can also do is you can Click on um, Liverpool here, for example, and it highlights this button. Click to draw through Liverpool. So I click on that button, and then that will take me through to a page dedicated just to Liverpool. So you'll see all the players and the stats, the points, the ICT index, um, the game week costs, so um, the selected percentage, and whether or not that player blanked. So here you have game week one. As we have game week two, that will come alongside, and three, four, etc. You get the point. And this page is still a little bit under construction, as you can see by these blank spots down here. Um, but we'll add more stats that will hopefully help you out. But here we've got, for example, points and bonus points. So you can see Salah currently has 20 points and here 17 points and three of those were bonus points. So that is 20 points right there. Form and average form value that we've got here through position trying to see perhaps where the best value is of that team. Yellow card, here we've got some news, so basically injuries, all that type of stuff, when there'll be players will be returning. 
back to our percentage selected up here and here are the, the upcoming fixtures. And again, if you hover over, you're gonna get information about that player. What you can also do here, if you wanna say, okay, I've um, I had this information, information about Liverpool, but I'd like to see that information about a different team. You just click on this um, select a different team button. You click on that and that will allow you to remove the team filter and then you can select a team here. See? So now, okay, I've got all the teams and I want to see now, uh, say Leicester. I click on Leicester and now it's the same information, but about Leicester instead of Liverpool. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. So for example, now I've said, okay, I've got information. I've seen information about Leicester, seen information about Liverpool. I would like to get more specific information about Vardy. Yeah. So what I can do is I can, uh, one of two things, I can right click here and go to drill through or on Vardy, or I can click on Vardy here. And again, this, we have this button up here, click to drill through to Vardy. And this is a page just for Vardy. So right now it looks quite blank. Again, obviously we're in game week one, but as the season progresses, it's going to fill out across the page on every visualization with information about Vardy. So here we have his influence, creativity and threat, which is his ICT. And there's also an ICT index. If you click on that right here, it then toggles to the ICT index rather than showing those values individually. Here again, we have um, shown saves or scored. Of course, if it's a goalkeeper, it's going to be saves. If it's not a goalkeeper, it's going to be scored. Assists, clean sheets, and blanks. So this here indicates that Vardy didn't blank. If he had blanked, then it would be red. I'll show you that in a second. And uh, it's going to show you when you hover over the individual, um, the result of that fixture. So if it was away, home, the score, how many minutes he played, and his percentage selection. So here we have, again, the select, uh, select percentage and we've got bonus total points across here along the bottom. You can see how many points Vardy scores when he plays um, away, when he plays against teams in league positions such as bottom six, top six and mid table. And how many, um, so here, these top five game week points, that's gonna show you across the entire season in which game weeks he scored his had his top five best performances. Right, right now, of course, it's only one um, because he's only played one week. And it's also going to show you if that fixture was away or home. So, if, for example, if you have someone who only has home fixtures here, then obviously they're performing a lot better when they play at home. And here we have bookings. You're going to be able to use this button here to toggle between show me only away fixtures and show me only home fixtures. And here, there'll be any news about that player. Go back. You can do that same thing here um, to, to to drill through to one particular um, player. So if we quickly look at uh, Liverpool, I'll try and get someone who blanked. Probably Liverpool defender is going to be, yeah, okay. I click on Alexander Arnold, for example. Here, again, that button. And now we can see this is red because Alexander Arnold blanked on that particular game. He didn't get any assists, he didn't score, and he didn't get a clean sheet. So there you go. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what we have on the report. Uh, things are being added all the time because I use it and I realize I need more information. And um, yeah, I just discover a new stat that I haven't seen before on, on, on the website. But um, And these things will be integrated across um, the report a bit more. So if you have any questions or you want to know how to use certain things or if you have any ideas for any updates then please just let me know. I'm always happy to talk about this sort of thing because uh, yeah a bit of a data nerd and uh, yeah I hope the report helps you um, select your team and get a few extra points this season and uh, thank you very much.